So we'll start off with that 0 0.005, and I have to add one to it, and that takes care of this piece right here. The next thing I have to do is take it to the 420th, so I'll use my to the button on this calculator, 420th, and I get this value 8 point, no, I can't ever read those decimals on that calculator, it is 8.8.12355, 8 etc. Subtract the 1, that's the next thing, so subtract 1, and I get 7.12355, etc. Now divide by the 0 .005, push equals, we push equals a lot because it helps make sure we get the order of operations correct. Now I have a value for this whole thing, and so I'm going to write that part down at least. And so I have 1 million equals P times, and I have 1424.71, and it does go on and on. So I'm going to put dot, dot, dot. And now I can either store this number and then do the division, or I can do the 1 over x. Maybe I'll show you this one using the 1 over x, and I'll show another one using the store. So here I have the 1 over x button, so remember you push the 1 over x, it converts it to 1 divided by that quantity, and then I can just multiply now on the other side by 1, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 zeros, and I get a number P is equal to $701.89.7, so I'm going to have to round that one to 90. So because I have a 7 following, the 9 has to bump up, it becomes a 10, which makes that a 9. So 89 bumps up to 90. So my answer, $701.90.